Hello, welcome to this week's Legislative Update. I'm Jim Baumgart, your host, and Nanette Willebush, to my left, is the co-host uh, to this uh, wonderful program we have today because it's wonderful because we have Chewing County's outstanding treasure <laughs> with uh, uh, Laura Henning Lorenz, and she's the only treasure we have. That County is correct. Treasure. Welcome yes. to the program. Thank you for having me. We have, of course, what our founding fathers thought was important, and it was, is to have local people elected to offices, and we have sheriffs, and we have registered deeds, treasurer, mm -hmm. clerk of courts, all of those uh, individuals, and they have oversight by the county, because we have county government, and they have oversight by the people. It keeps our government honest, and it really improves the quality of service to the people, because we're all accountable. And so we Very want to much. stress that, and this program, and the next four or five programs we have coming up, uh, which we're going to invite uh, the local uh, uh, elected officials, mm -hmm. be they Republican or Democrat, to explain what they're doing to make Sheboygan County better. But Great. I think Nanette wants to ask you about your background. Yeah, thank you, Laura. Thank you so much for coming in to visit thank us Thank you for today. inviting me. You're welcome. So why don't we start out, tell us, a little bit about yourself, how you came into this profession, and maybe a little bit about um, how you became elected to treasurer. Okay. Well, um, I, first of all, my husband and I are, are uh, lifelong residents of Sheboygan County. Um, I graduated from Lakeland University. Um, go Muskies. Yes, go Muskies. Um, and I uh, have a bachelor's degree, but I majored in accounting and business administration, and then I minored in economics. I think that background led me to loving the world of accounting, so um, and, and many other aspects that are in our office right now, but um, the accounting piece. And then when Sandy Fisher, our uh, mm -hmm. former County Treasurer retired, that was when I decided to run for election in 2002. And then after winning that election, then I took my oath of office in January of 2003. And have been accounted to the, accountable to the people ever since? Yes. Yes. Very and much so. And they keep so. watching us, don't they? They do. Yes. That's a good thing. Anyway, so but, tell us, what does a treasurer do? I'm thinking of those green dots in Harry Potter where they're sitting in this <laughs> tall tower counting money. I, I'm guessing you're, you're a little bit different from that. A little bit. Um, certainly we are the fiduciary for the county. You know, it's our responsibility to safeguard the people's money. Um, and I think most people realize that we collect taxes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we collect all of the delinquent and we collect um, second installment taxes. But other things that people aren't maybe as aware of that we do in our office is we also do real property listing. Mm -hmm. um, we work with the assessors and we do assessing. We work um, to gather the assessment data from the assessors, um, not only the local assessors, but also the state assessors. Mm -hmm. And um, we also um, oversee the lottery and gaming yeah. credit annual certification. Um, we work with all levels of government, all the different entities. So, town, cities, villages. Town, cities, villages. We work at you know locally at the county level as well. We work with all of the different departments. Uh, we work with the county board. I report to the finance committee, and um, of course, then also the county administrator. And I just want to clarify: your office does not set the property tax rates. Those are the individual municipalities, correct? That, that is you correct. You collect it on their behalf. We collect the data from the various municipalities. We have what's called a mill rate form mm -hmm. that's filled out. Um, every year by our, each of our 28 municipalities and they provide us with that information so that we can do the calculations okay. and then ultimately print out the tax bills. Okay. So yeah, we also work with um, the state legislators and also once in a while, not often, but once in a while, 
we even need to work with our federal government as well. Okay. The uh, um, kind of thing that uh, um, takes place um, is, is important because um, the uh, things we do in Chibun County uh, can be affected by what happens in Marinette County and other th counties. And so you have an association that tries to coordinate mm -hmm. uh, the best policies that works for the most counties possible, don't you? Yes. Um, actually, I belong to t three different associations. Um, the association that I'm most active in would be the Wisconsin County Treasurers Association. Um, they hold uh, quite a bit of education. We, um, the association works with the University of Wisconsin um, to keep us well informed and up to date and continually educated. On the cutting edge. Yes. And really, uh, what, what a lot of uh, the viewers may not realize, uh, your staff uh, and the staff of many uh, uh, county treasurer's office are, are updating their, their, their staff so that uh, when there are changes or computer things that can save money or save time for the, for the uh, taxpayers, you try to uh, uh, get the legislature or the county to, to make those changes so that they benefit uh, uh, the people the best possible. Right, right. So we often, um, so a good example of, of some of the, the technology that we've recently implemented um, we just went live in September, so last month, with a, a new land record enterprise system uh, that was a two-year undertaking um, before going live. And then we also went live last week with our web portal. So all good and exciting things, new deck technology that we implemented. I wanted to ask, there, I know there's a push <coughs> at the state level and in some municipalities to make this an appointed position. For as long as I know, the treasurer has always been elected. And I'm guessing you would say you would like to keep it that way. But why? Why is that important to do that? Well, um, yes, the county treasurer's position in Sheboygan County and throughout the state is an elected position. It's a four-year term. Um, I, I think that it's um, important that I stay elected, that the position remain an elected position as well as several other county positions. Um, some of the, the reasons for that would be, you know, certainly we are accountable, as Jim mentioned at the, earlier in the program, we're accountable to the people. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, a very important mechanism um, in our every day that I walk into the office. Every day I know that I am serving the public. Mm -hmm. I'm not always thinking that I'm the county treasurer, but I'm thinking I serve the public and that's what I am here to do today. I'm to work as hard as I possibly can and to serve the public. Could you imagine having Laura walk into an office and she's head of the uh, <clears throat> treasurer's office and she is at the uh, beckoning of a county administrator who can hire or fire her, she may not be willing to raise a question because uh, her job is on the line. Mm -hmm. Now, it's still on the line if you're elected a treasurer, but mm -hmm. you have the ability and, and the uh, 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 pulpit to be able to say, we shouldn't be going in this direction. We should be doing this because it doesn't benefit this industry. It benefits the people and taxpayers of Wisconsin or Sheboygan County. And uh, uh, you, can, you, can, you can appoint people. But, and, and it looks smooth, but at the end, our forefathers said, that's not good because we're going to have problems down the line. And I think uh, our uh, elected officials and some of them uh, uh, that we have, I didn't vote for. But um, I think we have quality people running, uh, and I think uh, they, they do a very good job. And it should be the people's right to uh, um, decide if they shouldn't be there rather than some administrator who may want to fire him because they not jump into his or her tomb. Yes, I've, and you know, to add on to that, the Wisconsin Constitution 
leaves um, a wide variety of checks and balances in place for both the elected officials and uh, appointed positions. And then at the county level, um, ultimately we all report to the county board. Ultimately the county board reports and is accountable to the public. Mm -hmm. So it, the checks and balances in place are important. Um, they work well. They're very efficient and very effective currently um, in our society. Well, we had uh, a uh, financial person in one of our townships, um, a appointed position um, that uh, they didn't catch doing something wrong for a couple of years. Mm. And uh, uh, in the kind of checks and balances we have on the county level, that's unlikely to ever possibly happen. I mean, anything's possible, but uh, uh, just, uh, our forefathers were, were very wise in making sure that we didn't um, uh, destroy ourselves because we were thinking we're being so much smarter than, than they were. No, you answered to us, not yeah. to a bureaucrat, not to someone else. So what else. are other, you know, other things that uh, um, you at uh, um, the duties that uh, you'd like to stress? Well, um, Going back to the associations that we belong to, several yeah. members in our office belong to the Wisconsin Real Property Listers Association. Um, so there's uh, folks that are very active with that association. And then they also belong to the Wisconsin Land Information Association. Um, all good associations that um, provide continuing education. So those are all very important things. Um, is there a, a, a excuse me? Is there a misconception? Is there something? Here's your chance to clear up. What do you uh, think? Is there something that people don't understand about the treasurer's job that you wish they did? In the next I minute. Think, <laughs> in the next <laughs> minute. Just real quickly. Um, sometimes people think we collect the current or first installment taxes. That we always want to let people know, and it's and it is stated inside the tax bill that. That one they need to pay at their town, village, or city. That's the big one. And of course, we have many local banks that assist mm -hmm. us all during the year to collect first installment and or second installment. So we encourage folks to utilize that option if it's convenient for them. Okay. We right. do want to thank uh, Laura Annie Lorenz, our present uh, county treasurer who has been around for any number of years. Since 2002, and has, correct? Pardon? 2003, 2003, January of 03. Yes. Is that right? And we want to thank you for coming and sharing with the viewers uh, the duties and responsibilities of the Treasurer's Office and the importance of its elected position. Till next week, this has been Legislative Update.